everyone. So today I want to talk about uh, some variations of factorial function. Um, so I think there's four of them included in this video. So they are of course based from the factorial function which is by itself a pretty quick growing function. So we have the super factorial, hyper factorial and the actually the bouncing factorial. So first, of course, let's look at the factorial. Um, so the basic factorial that you learn, you probably learn in school already, probably in the middle school or high school, I'm not quite sure. So factorial is basically um, used to calculate the number of ways to arrange something. Um, so it's pretty straightforward. Um, so most people know already, so n, uh, exclamation point that's basically the factorial so n factorial is basically 1 times 2 times 3 times blah 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 all the way to n um, so the other way to express this or I mean n factorial is equal to n plus 1 factorial divided by n plus 1 so a quick example, 5 factorial is equal to 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5, which is equal to 120. Of course, that means it is equal to 6 factorial divided by 6. And then second example, 52 factorial is equal to around 10 to the power of 67. So 52 factorial is a famous factorial, which is the number of ways to arrange a deck of cards, which has 52 cards. So as you can see here, um, this number over here is bigger than this number. So what it means is that n factorial is, uh, this function grows faster than 10 to the power of n, as you can clearly see here. And in fact, uh, the factorial function grows faster than the uh, exponentiation uh, function. So n factorial grows faster than uh, both n to the power of m or m to the power of n. So n is the only thing that is increasing here. m doesn't increase, of course. And another way that you can see is that uh, n factorial over here grows faster than mn, which um, in turn grows faster than n to the power of n. And again, n is the thing, is the only thing that is changing, that is increasing. And of course, n factorial grows faster than these two, except this one. Uh, so the only exponentiation function that grows faster than factorial is n to the power of n. And the growth rate in terms of the fast growing hierarchy is around f to n. So it's not super fast, of course, but pretty fast in daily mathematics. Um, since you know we all know that uh, exponentiation grows really fast already, but n factorial grows faster than that, except n to the power of n. And then now let's start looking at the factorial family. So the next one we're gonna look at is the super factorial. Uh, actually, the first super factorial that we can look at in this video. So SFN is the function super factorial n. It means a uh, one factorial times two factorial times three factorial blah 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 all the way until n factorial and as you can see um, it's based on the factorial function and of course it grows faster than that clearly you can see clearly um, so for example uh, sf4 would be one factorial times two factorial times three factorial times four factorial which is 288 um, so obviously bigger than 4 factorial, um, but in terms of the fast growing hierarchy is still around f to n, so which is, this, well, it's slightly faster than this, but it's not yet, not quite reaches f three n. And then the next one we're going to look at is the hyper factorial, which is h n, which is equal to 1 to the power of 1 times 2 to the 2 times 3 to the 3 times 4 to the 4, blah, 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 blah all the way to n to the times n to the n and since we all know that n to the n grows faster than n factorial so we know that hyper factorial grows faster than this super factorial slightly faster so that's why the fast growing hierarchy is still around f to n 
uh, slightly faster than this, but not yet. Three uh, F three N, and it's actually close to F two of F two N. And then um, the next one, oh, actually, uh, H four would be equal to one to the one times two to the two times three to the three times four to the four, which is equal to twenty seven thousand six hundred forty eight. Of course, you can see this is bigger than this. And then the next one is the second type of super factorial, which is uh, written this way over here. Um, and what it means is that it is equal to n factorial to the power of n factorial to the n factorial, blah, 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 with n factorial number of levels. So all, e all of these equals to n factorial, double arrow, n factorial. So as you can see here, clearly this one grows faster than uh, all of these. And the growth rate in terms of the fast growing hierarchy is around F3N. So already faster than these, as you can see. And if you if N is equal to 4, it will be equal to this. 4 factorial to the 4 factorial to the 4 factorial, blah, 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 with 4 factorial number of levels. So pretty big. Pretty fast going and then the next one we're going to look at is the exponential factorial uh, which is equal to um, this is what it uh, represents so a of n um, so it equals to n to the power of a of n minus 1 and a is equal to 1 and the growth rate in terms of the fast growing hierarchy is around f3n so A2, in this case, according to this rule, would be equal to 2 to the, to the power of A of 2 minus 1, which is equal to 2 to the power of A1. And A3 would be equal to 3 to the power of A3 minus 1, which is 3 to the A2. And for example, A6 would be equal to 6 to the power of 5 to the 4 to the 3 to the 2 to the 1. And of course, you start from the top to the bottom. So of course, quite uh, fast going. I don't think it's as fast as this, but in terms of the fast growing hierarchy, it's pretty much similar, it's just slightly slower than that, I believe. So F3N. And then the last one we're gonna look at today uh, among the factorial family is uh, called the bouncing factorial, which is written this way. So what it means is it equals to one times two times three all the way to n, just like the regular factorial. But then, then you continue, you, you don't just stop here. You continue to multiply by n minus one and then multiply by n minus two all the way back to one. And then you continue, you go back to uh, one times two times three times all the way to n minus one. And then you go back to one and then you go back to an n minus two blah 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 so for example four if n is four it equals to one times two times three times four and then you go back to times three times two times one and then back up to times two times three and then back down to times two times one and then go back up times two and then at the end is just times one so it terminates over here like that um, so it's still pretty sick, straightforward, and then the result is 3456. So obviously this grows uh, faster than the regular factorial, but grows lower than all the above. So it grows lower than the super factorial, both super factorial and the uh, exponential factorial, and of course uh, the hyper factorial. So anyway, um, this is the quick uh, introduction to the factorial family. Of course, there's a few more, but I'm not going to talk about those. Those are more difficult to understand. And of course, some of them actually grows even slower than the original factorial. So anyway, thanks for watching and have a nice day.